This video explains how to convert a date time object to a different time zone in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step, we need to import date time from the date time module, and we need to import the puts module. So after running these lines of code, we can use the corresponding functions to these modules. And then in the next step, we also need to create an example date time object, as you can see in this line of code. So in this case, we create a date time object that corresponds to the 3rd of April 2023 at 11.10.27 in the UTC time zone. So after running this line of code, a new daytime object called myDaytime is created, and we can print this daytime object below the code box using the print function, and then you can see the datetime object that we have created. Now in the next step, I also want to modify the structure of this daytime object because I also want to show the time zone of our daytime object. We already know that our currently created datetime object is in the UTC time zone. However, we can also visualize that by using the strift time function, as you can see in the next line of code. So after running this line of code, another data object called myDatimeUTC is created. And after printing this new datetime object, you can see that the time and date is exactly the same as in our previously created data object. However, this time, the time zone is also shown in the output. Now, let's assume that we want to convert this datetime object to a different time zone. So in this case, to the time zone of Europe, Berlin. Then we can apply the time zone function of the PITS module in combination with the S time zone function. And we can apply these functions to our datetime object that we have created in the beginning. And I'm storing the output of these functions in a new date time object that I call my datetime CET. So after running this line of code, a new datetime object called my datetime CET is created. And after running the print function, we can see that we have converted our original datetime object to a new datetime object that is called my datetime CET. And this datetime object contains the date time in the CET time zone. We can apply a similar syntax to convert our date time object to other time zones. So in the next line of code, I'm converting our date and time to the US central time zone. In other words, to the CST time zone. So after running this line of code and after printing our new date time object, you can see that this date time object was converted to the CST time zone. And similar to that, we could also convert our date time to the US Eastern time zone. So after running these lines of code, another date time object was created, which is called my date time EST. And this date time object contains our input date and time in the EST time zone. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.